Millie Bobby Brown has been working as an actress since she was nine years old. Now she's an A-list actress, even though she has a short filmography list, but her emotive acting still impacts viewers in less time. Plus, she steered the Stranger Things franchise into success. Next thing we know, she's doing the same with Enola Holmes. In this video, we'll learn how much money Millie made with Enola Holmes 2. First up, how much did Millie receive from Enola Holmes 2? It's old news now that Enola Holmes is following up on the successful first film with a sequel. Millie is set to reprise her role as Enola Holmes in the sequel, and she's earning good from it. Not only is she acting in the film, but once again she secured the producer chair for the film. The predecessor of the sequel received praise from critics and audiences. Millie's enthusiastic energy kept the watchers craving for more and more. Variety has revealed her salary in a recent report and boy, she's earning well. Millie has received about $12 million from her work in the movie. It's unclear whether it includes her compensation for producing as well. Following the impressive rate, she's entered the top 20 most paid actors. She also ranked number two in the rankings among women. She was close to number one, but Margot Robbie beat her with her $12.5 million Barbie movie salary. The Variety report also stated that studio insiders noticed that many actors increased their rates after the salary offers from Netflix and other streaming sites. It's just one method Netflix took on to keep talented actors on board to attract viewers to the streaming platform. Millie has starred in a few roles till now, and all of them have turned out to be pretty successful. Her acting in Enola Holmes has moved critics to appreciate her delightful charisma. It's considered greater than her acting in Stranger Things as Eleven. Next up, what were her previous earnings? We know Millie is earning a whopping $12 million from her role as Enola Holmes, which leads us to wonder what the actress earned in her previous projects. She starred in the Netflix popular series Stranger Things, and that's how the actress reached stardom. Her role as Eleven and the overall mysterious Supernatural series intrigued viewers. It may shock you to hear this, but Millie was rumored to be earning $10,000 per episode while filming season one. Season two of the hit show saw a little increase. It's reported that she earned about $20,000 to $30,000 per episode. As the show progressed, Eleven's role became crucial to unlocking answers about the Upside Down and its gateways. She also led her Hawkins gang to defeat the Mind Flayer. All of this hard work pointed to a raise, especially after the success of the first two seasons. For season three, her salary was expected to be at least $350,000 per episode. There has been no news about her season four salary. For her first feature role, as Madison Russell in Godzilla, King of Monsters, she was paid $1 million and an additional back-end payment. She earned $3 million for the film sequel Godzilla vs. Kong. Next, she found herself playing the titular character in the mystery film Enola Holmes. She received a salary of $6.1 million for her role and an extra $500,000 for the producer credit. The raise from $6 million to $12 million is worth it considering the mystery adventure film was met with the exact positive response the creators were looking for. Moving on, what does the actress do with all the money? Her net worth was estimated to be around $10 million, but it's probably double the amount now. Apart from acting and her cosmetic brand, Millie has offered brand sponsorships for several businesses. Currently, she is the brand ambassador for Louis Vuitton. We peasants can only imagine having that net worth. With so much money on Millie's hands, you might expect her to buy ridiculous stuff that rich people buy, but no. Despite getting tangled in Hollywood and fame at a young age, the actress remembers that she has to give back to her community. She urges others to participate in volunteering. With her cosmetic company, Florence by Mills, she helped to raise $40,000 for the Olivia Hope Foundation. She also donated about 20 k to frontline UK healthcare workers during the COVID-19 pandemic, the Entertainment Industry Foundation, and more organizations. She's also invested in two mansions in Atlanta and England. The worth of the two houses is kept away from the public's knowledge, but we can expect them to be very pricey. The countless photos and videos of her homes confirm that. Which wealthy celebrity wouldn't invest in luxurious homes for their family? Anyways, Millie's busy schedule does make her worn out, and so she spends some of her money on some well-deserved vacations. The actress visited the beautiful island of Maldives. She took shelter in the Cineva Fushi Resort, which has prices starting from $1,900 per night for a Crusoe Villa. 
She also owns a $70,000 Mercedes-Benz V-Class Marco Polo and a $27,000 Mini Cooper. A Cadillac Escalade worth $100,000 is also in her car collection. Following up, what can we expect from Enola Holmes 2? Her upcoming film, Enola Holmes 2, will reunite the Holmes siblings. Henry Cavill will reprise his role as Sherlock Holmes. It was reported that he would also have more screen time for this film. Emmy winner Harry Bradeer will direct the sequel film as he did the first one. Jack Thorne has also joined the team again and composed the screenplay. The main synopsis of the film will find Enola on yet another adventurous journey. This time, a girl will hire the smart sister of Sherlock Holmes to look for her missing sister who works in a match factory. The missing girl's friends are unsure whether Enola will be able to find their friend, but she assures them that she's good at solving mysteries. In the first movie, Enola set off to find her missing mom and she succeeded. On the other hand, Sherlock is pretty irritated with another case. His sister is having trouble cracking the case of the missing girl on her own, because every clue she uncovers is something that powerful people want to hide. This will be Enola's official first case ever since she created her own detective agency. The brilliant detective will try to escape her famous brother's shadow, but it's going to be challenging considering their latest case is interlinked, so they have no choice but to uncover the puzzle pieces together. The movie will also have returns from Helena Bonham Carter as Eudoria Holmes, the mother of the witty detectives, as well as Lewis Partridge, who played Viscount Tewksbury, the rebellious lord who partnered with Enola as a sidekick and eventually a love interest. First off, Millie talks about why she returned to produce the film. Millie also became a producer at the young age of 16. She teamed up with her older sister Paige Brown. The first co-produced was Enola Holmes. Now the duo reunited along with three additional co-producers for the sequel. Millie stated that producing Enola Holmes 2 was an innate decision in her creative process. It's the only reason she did it. The actress appeared on First We Feast's Hot One series, where guests answer questions as they feast on spicy chicken wings, which become spicier and spicier. While eating the fiery wings, she dished on her decision to return as a producer for the film sequel. She pointed out that it felt natural to her creative process to have the ability to create on and off camera by making adjustments to the script, while also participating in the post-production process. She explained how she's always felt at ease when she knows that she can express herself entirely through her artistic process. Millie and her sister, Paige, read the Enola Holmes mystery series by Nancy Springer and instantly fell in love with the idea of a movie adaptation. Paige remarked that Enola moved her to be a great book character. She also knew it would look fantastic to see Millie portray her. When Millie was introduced to the books, she agreed with her sister's idea of a movie adaptation. Millie stated that she simply fell in love with Enola and her personality. She also pointed out the deep connection between her and Paige and they both are enthusiastic about the same things. They both love the historical era, especially the stunts and costumes. Let's take a look at all the future projects she'll be occupied with. When she's not acting, she's producing. When she's not producing, she's modeling. Enola Holmes 2 will release on November 4th on Netflix. And so that's one project from Millie as an actor and producer. Next, the actress is set to star in the upcoming fantasy film, Damsel. She will also serve as the executive producer for the project. Millie and her sister are also set to collaborate with Netflix once again on an original narrative called A Time Lost. Millie will also star in the film. She will also star as the lead for the Russo Brothers adaptation of Simon Stallenhag's graphic novel The Electric State. Millie's booked and busy for the upcoming year. Well, that's a wrap for this video, so what do you think of Millie's salary? Do you think she's a good producer? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.